We're using FRED, the Federal Reserve Economic Database, for the second tutorial on two-line graphs. We start to create a graph by going to Data Tools and then Create Your Own Graphs. We're going to put the first indicator in the search box under Graph and Add Data Series. We'll start by adding in the Moody's BAA Corporate Bond Yield. Notice that we have both a monthly series which begins in 1919 as well as a daily one beginning in 1986. We're going to go ahead and select the monthly series. And now we're going to add a second indicator, the U.S. 10-year Treasury Bond Yield. Notice we have two choices. We can make this a new line or we can modify the existing one. Later on we're going to adjust line one but right now we're just going to add a second line. The code is GS10. Notice the Treasury data has a shorter observation range and begins in April of 1953. There it is. For consistency we'll redraw the graph so that both time series start when the Treasury data does. Notice the two lines move together and trend. They rise and trend from the 1950s to the late 1970s, and then they begin to fall. This is following the pattern of rising inflation and falling inflation over those decades. But if you look closely at the periods of recessions that are marked in gray bars, they don't quite move, move together. They actually move apart. To see that, we're going to remove the second line. By clicking the trash icon under Edit Data Series 2 and then clicking Remove. Instead, we're going to add it back in again, but this time we're going to look at the difference between the two lines. We're going to show one line from the two indicators. To do so, we click on Modify Existing Series and then we add it to Series 1. As you will see, we now have Moody's BAA Corporate Bond Yield Rate, which is labeled as A, and the Treasury Bill Rate, which is labeled as B, both under Data Series 1. If you click on Create Your Own Data Transformation, you will notice Fred gives you the option of inputting your own formula. We're going to type A minus B, which effectively subtracts the Treasury Yield from the corporate bond yield in order to get the spread or the difference between the two. And there it is. There's the credit yield spread, the difference between those two yields. Notice that in every recession that gap increases. It's a sign that investors worry about corporate default risk during recessions, especially in the biggest post-war recession, the financial crisis of 2007-09. We like that graph, so we're going to apply the saved settings from the previous tutorial and make it look better. That's ready for submission, so now I'm going to export it as a PDF so I can save it to my computer. I do so by clicking on Export and then clicking Export as PDF. Thanks very much for watching.